So now on this video, we've already wrote our code for our program and we've got the graphical user interface set up. Now what I need to do is try to run it in an Android device. And if I come up here to the top, this is the button that we're going to be using. It says run as. If I go ahead and click on that, I've got a couple different ways to run it. I can run it as an Android application and I can hit OK. And it's going to go ahead and say make sure your project's saved. If it hasn't been saved, I'll choose to hit save for that one. Now while it's loading up, I'm going to notice something here. And the fact is, we don't have any virtual devices set up yet. So I'm going to need to set one up. I'm going to, it says no compatible targets were found. Do you wish to add a new Android virtual device? I can hit yes here, um, but I'm going to go ahead and close that because I want to show you where to do it um, without having to run through this. And that's going to be up here at the top. You've got two different buttons that we're going to work with here in the future. This one here is going to be to set up different software development kits here for Android. This one here is dealing with the Android Virtual Device Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that one, the Virtual Device Manager. And I currently have no virtual devices. And what a virtual device is, is we're kind of going to make a virtual phone or virtual tablet to be running Android in. So I'm going to go ahead and choose New for this one. Now let's give it a name. I'm running the Android 2.1 operating system, so I'm just going to call it for my first one just 2.1. Use the drop down arrow, and I'm going to pick this Android 2.1 as my operating system for my device. And you can see there's quite a few different options that we've got here. One of them is the size of my object and the size of it. This is the size of the SD card, excuse me, and that's going to be basically the little SD card that you can plug into the device. I'm just going to go ahead and set it as 256 so we can have one. It's not really going to be much of a difference for this particular application. But then I've also got some built-in skins and so forth to go with this. I'm going to go ahead and leave that one as default for now. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Create Android Virtual Device. There we go. And now it's been created. So I can go ahead and close that. Now let's go ahead and run our application to see what happens. And so I'm going to go ahead now and come up here to this button here where it says Run Project 1. Double click it. You can see some code has been starting to move here under this console and the Android device is popping up. Now there's going to be a couple little windows popping up here and there on the system. We're just going to wait until this Android virtual device that we created starts up. And as soon as your computer loads up, the Android device loads up, you should see um, possibly the desktop and then it will go to your program or mine just went straight to my program. just depends on the speed of it loading up. But uh, we've got our program here, our application, and you can see the name of our application is up here, display text. I've got the text views that we've created, the hello world, my first project, which is part of that string. Then I created one where I hard coded the actual text in there, which was by, and then I put my name. We added a button to it, and I've got a text field here that's going to be an editable text field that's going to be um, serve as basically the text box that I'm going to be putting my text in. And so, moment of truth. We're going to go ahead and hit the press me button to see if our program is going to work. And I'll hit press me and there it goes. You displayed text. That was the text that was supposed to display in there when we ran our program. And so this is now a fully functioning program that we can press a button and we can make things happen with the button on the display te text. And I know it was a simple project here for the first one, but it helped hopefully reiterate some of the facts of and basically some of the methods that are needed in order to develop your, an Android application. I'm going to go ahead and close that now. And if I rerun it, I'm going to go ahead and rerun it now. And I just want to show you, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until it pulls up. But when you rerun it from this point on, you're going to actually have a lock screen to actually, ha actually have to log into whenever you run your applications. And so from this point on now, whenever you start up your virtual machine, you're going to have something similar to this where you're going to actually have to drag over that unlock to unlock your application. Now you can see my application started back up. So I'm going to go ahead and close that one more time and look at our text. It actually did what we wanted it to. We were able to link the buttons to the button that was on the graphical side as well as the editable text as well. And then we went ahead and generated some code that was listening or was waiting for something to happen like a click. And when a click happened, we set the code here to change the text box to actually say your you displayed text and you can change that to whatever you want and that'll work and if I just revisit my main XML page this is the display of my application which we saw run so this concludes the last video here for project one and like I said we're gonna start project two next and it's gonna get a little bit more involved